Okay, everyone, thanks for coming out again. Now, uh, the goal of this lecture is to talk about the Arab Spring, but related to quantitative research. So what's the goal here? The goal is quite easy. Now, I've never been to the Middle East, and I like to do backgrounds where I've been, but Russia has been involved in the Middle East, and I have been on a Russian submarine turned into a bar, and that's it, in Cartagena, Colombia. Very good, but expensive. One drink and I'm out of there. But you see Putin with the others, Stalin, Lenin, Marx, etc. So very interesting uh, situation there. So what's the point of this lecture? The point of this lecture is to quickly go over what the point of the Arab Spring video is. Bargain, where I've been, uh, the New England uh, Complexity Institute, which is a, a quantitative, more uh, oriented uh, think tank or whatever you want to call it. You know, the aim is to influence policy. But the goal there is he asks a research question and then answers it with quantitative research. So the first question, why was there an Arab Spring? Right. Well, I love this thing. You look, you can see through this cup. Why was there an Arab Spring? Well, that's easy. The deregulation of ethanol production, which led to higher food prices, which led to the instability, which then the end result was the Arab Spring. So the interactive independent variables, causal variables, are what I just said, right? deregulation of ethanol and then obviously the farmers you you know grow crops for ethanol with sugar and corn opposed to staple crops staple crops become higher and then there's food shortages etc inflation so you have these kinds of issues that led to the end result which is the dependent variable so the the causal variables are always the independent variables. And then the dependent variable is the result. And he finds that statistically speaking, which we're going to get into later more with the P value T square and other measurements of statistics. But he comes to the conclusion that it is attributable. That is the Arab spring throughout the Middle East. That was the overthrow of different uh, 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 governments throughout the Middle East because of this uh, chain reaction of ethanol deregulation and uh, higher food prices. So that's what you have to know for that. Now, one of the things about it that's interesting is researchers also look for in quantitative research, well, don't look for, but often forget confounding variables. Those are variables that is confounding variables. And I'll ask about that. What is a confounding variable? That often the researcher either doesn't find, but might have an influence on his or her research. So in this case, it could be the rise of China, the rise of India, the, the rising population might put pressure on the food, right, supply and create higher prices. And then the Arab Spring, because the rise of China at this time was astronomical. And although he does say in it somewhere, you know, oh, yes, we did consider that, et cetera. But just for the sake of argument, these are confounding variables, variables that the researcher fails to understand. And that's for different reasons. Maybe they didn't they didn't know. Or maybe, for example, they ignore it because it doesn't fit their model. Uh, maybe they're getting paid by someone because, you know, that's something you have to think about. You know, where does the money come from research? So there are a lot of reasons why. But that's all I want you to take away from this. What is the independent variable? What is the dependent variable? What are kind of some confounding variables? Now, one student asked a good question a while back and said, well, how come there's no like uh, uh, movements now? And, you know, with the high inflation, well, first there is throughout Latin America, there are huge protests. Uh, there's also protests in the Middle East, Lebanon, et cetera. But also, you know, they did take advantage of the COVID itself and can do lockdowns and make it illegal and then kind of militarize societies to make sure there's no overthrow. But the Arab Spring, just to make sure you understand, were a bunch of uh, movements throughout the Middle East that overthrew, quote unquote, dictators like in Egypt, Mubarak. And actually in democracy, although in a lot of these countries, they went back to dictatorships like in Egypt. 
So the the question is why at that time and and again the independent variable seems to be an interacting variable, it's not just one like the deregulation of ethanol that led to higher food prices and then instability, and then the dependent variable, the result, the overthrow of these governments and the Arab Spring, um, and you know it depends on how you ask the question because you could say oh well the independent variable is the the um, deregulation of ethanol and then the high food prices. And then in general, because not all these uh, people got overthrown, the uh, end result dependent variable was instability. Or you could say instability that related to, you know, so it depends on how you look at it and ask. But, but right now, we're just saying the interacting variables are, uh, the causal variables, which are independent variables, are deregulation of ethanol, you know, rising food prices leading to instability, and then the and then uh, the dependent variables, the Arab Spring, where there were at least overthrew some of these governments, Tunisia, he mentions, etc., or at least tried to. So you know, you have the the overthrow of governments, whether they succeeded or failed, uh, and this is very important. So that's what you have to know. So it's a quantitative analysis with an a causation, a chain reaction of independent variables that led to a result, the dependent variable. But at the same time, there might be confounding variables on why these uh, movements happen, which are variables that uh, the, the researcher just failed to consider. So please understand that, watch that. Uh, any questions, ask in community forum, um, and uh, we will definitely be in touch. Take care, everyone.